be using this one compact that holds all my makeup one or two brushes i kind of already have my brows done and then just some mascara okay before i apply my makeup i'm going to apply some sunscreen on my face and then just kind of let that sit in for a little bit and then i'll start with my cream foundation system okay next i'm going to use a setting spray so we're going to be outside and i really want my makeup to last all day so i added some spray to the my perfector sponge and it's nice and damp because I don't like to spray the, the spray directly onto my face. You can use a brush or you can use your sponge. That way you can really evenly distribute the setting spray. And the setting spray is good for setting your makeup and also for priming. So if you have really oily skin and you're afraid to use cream makeup, um, I recommend using a water-based primer or a good setting spray. Okay, so I'm going to start with my cream contour and I know that this looks really scary, but I'm only gonna add product on the areas that need coverage. So I'm gonna do this makeup video for it to be all like one layer and um, it's all gonna melt onto the skin. And I'm using the detail brush because I really feel like this is a good brush to get that precise spot um, of your makeup. This is gonna give you medium to uh, full coverage, but if you get less product, you will get like light coverage. So I'm just applying the makeup. This is my foundation, just in the areas that don't have contour. Right here. And then down the bridge of my nose. I'm turning the brush around and I'm just going to outline my lips with the same contour. So I've only used two colors so far. And then we're going to add a brighter color just right here in the inner corner of my eye and bring it down. And then outer corner. This is also a highlight color, but it can be used as a brighter. So it's a foundation also. Just a little dot right here. And I'm just going to do a little bit lighter right here. Next, we're just going to blend all of this. I like to start first with my foundation color and then blend everything else together. That way you don't have that muddy look. And I'm just lightly dabbing it. Lightly dabbing it. You can also use the beauty blender that's already um, prepped and damped. So when you do the contour, you just want to do it up. You don't want to take it off. Next, I'm just going to add a little bit of lip color. I like mixing colors, and then I'm gonna add that to my cheeks as well. And then just blend this up lightly, and then I have a little bit more, because I love having color on my cheeks. Just makes it look so nice and youthful, but I do it towards going up. That way it's not right in the center right here. The placement of the cheek color makes a big difference. It kind of lifts the face a little bit up here in my eyes this is my second brush and I'm going to do my brows with this brush with the contour and I'm just adding hair like strokes like this I really like this brush for that because it does give the illusion that you have um, brow hair when you don't so I feel like when I use cream product on my brows it makes it look more natural and it's easier to work with. Um, making the brow really frame your face. Next, this is optional, but I love to add a little bit of bronzer just on this area. The difference between bronzer and contour is that one is for shadowing the face and then the other one is to warm up the face. What I do here is I'm going to get my perfector sponge that I had already prepped and I'm just going to lightly dab it on my skin to pick up any excess product that could be layered on there just to give me that seamless finish. Love a really nice shimmer. We have some that are powdered and I love using those on my eyes as a real quick um, pretty little eyeshadow look. And that's what I'm gonna do today. And sometimes I'll add a little bit of the powdered one just on the bridge of the nose, right here on the lip area and on the brow bone and inner corner of the eye. And then I'll finish off with some mascara. 
Okay, before I add any mascara, I am just gonna set a little bit with powder, just lightly on this area, because it's going to be a little warm. So I don't wanna set powder all over my face, but just in the areas that I feel could get a little, not oily, because I'm super dry, but just for it to stay all intact. I do like that dewy look right here in my cheek area, um, even down here on my forehead. But if you're super oily and you're scared to try cream makeup, you can definitely try cream makeup with um, a good water-based primer and a good setting powder. So there you have it, added some mascara, but everything was from this one compact. I'm getting super close and personal for you to be able to see that there's no texture, there's not a lot of layered makeup on my skin and my makeup looks like skin with beautiful coverage. You can achieve that with a one compact makeup system. Don't be intimidated by this big compact. We have smaller compacts that are good for any budget. So if you wanna try cream makeup and you need help getting your colors, you can send me a message. You can visit the link on my bio. You can comment color match and I'll be more than happy to help you get started.